Hey guys and welcome back to the last part of the pixel extravaganza. So today I'll be showing you how to unroot or flash stock to your pixel. And this is going to be done using fastboot of course and on a computer. So uh, let's get started. You will need to download a few things here. Most notably would be the SDK platform tools. Now that just includes ADB and fastboot. So if you already have those and you probably already had those, uh, you can just use the same ones. And next you'll also want the latest version or the factory image that you want to use to flash on your pixel. So for example, I'm going to go to the Sailfish section and I'm going to download the latest factory image down here, which is a, it happens to be this one. So I'm going to download that. So by the end of all this, you're going to have two files, one for the platform tools and one for the factory image. So once that's done, um, let's extract the platform tools that are necessary, which is just the fastboot and maybe ADB executables. So open up the platform tools folder and then within here you want to extract ADB exe and the two ADB DLLs. And then you want to extract fastboot.exe and of course the libwinpthread-1 DLL as well. After that you just want to drag them outside to the same folder. Then you can close the platform tools zip file. Next up you want to open up the factory image zip file. You want to extract the radio image, the bootloader and the or just the radio and um, bootloader images. Extract those two. Now we're going to be flashing these individually, I guess, so we won't be using the flash all scripts. Next up, you want to open up the image zip file inside the factory image. Now once that's open, here are the images that you want to extract. First up is the boot image. Next up is the modem image. Next up are the two system images. In, make sure you get the other image as well and the vendor image and then you extract those five files outside this may take a while since they are quite big okay so now we can head over to our phone and what you need to do is turn off your phone and we're going to boot it into the bootloader so my phone's already off so I'm going to hold power and volume down buttons together to boot it into the bootloader and once it's in the bootloader all you need to do is plug in the USB cable and once your phone is plugged in uh, we can now do the following you want to hold make sure nothing is selected here I'm going to bring up a command prompt window or PowerShell window depending on which operating system version you're on so you can hold shift and right click in an empty space and select the option that is available to you I know some will have PowerShell only and some may only have the command window so whichever prompt you choose doesn't matter as long as it's changed to the correct directory, just double check that, that the directory here is the same one as where all your files are, which is uh, very important. So I'm just going to reposition this a little bit. So the first thing you want to do is check that your phone is properly connected to your computer. So we type in fastboot devices and it should return the serial number. So next up, you want to flash the bootloader. So to do this, type in fastboot flash bootloader leave a space in the end and drag in the bootloader image and then hit enter now depending on which slot you're on um, it may say you're flashing bootloader underscore B uh, but that is alright so just flash the bootloader once that's done we're going to reboot back into the bootloader so I'm going to type in fastboot reboot dash bootloader like so once our phone's back into the bootloader we're going to flash the radio image so I'm going to type in fastboot flash radio leave a space on the end and drag in the radio image once that's done we can start with the other images so first up is the boot image so I'm going to type in fastboot flash and now this is where you want to specify the partition uh, we need to flash the boot image on both the A and B partitions, so we're going to type in boot underscore A, leave a space in the end and drag in the boot image. And we're going to do the same thing for the B partition, so we're going to type in flash boot, flash boot underscore B, leave a space in the end and drag in the boot image again, and hit enter. Once you've done that, we can do the same thing for the system image. So we can type in fastboot flash system 
A, leave a space in the end, drag in the system image. Now I guess it just occurred to me that it would flash the active partition, but in this case you can specify which partition to flash. So if you're unsure or it's looking a little bit different to mine, then you can do system underscore A and system underscore B to make sure you're flashing those um, the correct partitions or the correct images. Alrighty, so next up is of course our other system partition. So I'm going to type in fastboot flash system underscore b. Leave a space in the end, and this time you want to drag over the system underscore other image and hit enter on that. Okay, so now we can flash the vendor image. Now this just only applies to the first one, so we can just type in fastboot flash vendor, leave a space in the end and drag in the vendor image, hit enter. And last but not least, we're going to flash the modem image. So I'm going to type in fastboot, flash modem, leave a space in the end and drag in the modem image, and then hit enter. Now once this is done, it is your choice to either factory reset or erase user data and also relock the bootloader. So I'm going to erase the data in this case. So we can type in fastboot format user data and hit enter. Now this will wipe everything on your internal storage and pretty much clean it out. And once the user data is erased, then you can reboot your phone and make sure that it turns on and everything works before you relock the bootloader. Now that is, it's quite important to do so. Okay. Once that's done, we're going to reboot the phone. So I'm going to type in fastboot reboot, and let's see our phone boot straight into Android. And you can see the bootloader is still unlocked, but that is because we want to check if our phone can boot up properly, and everything works before we relock the bootloader, so we don't run into any problems trying to fix things with the locked bootloader. Okay, so personally, this is uh, good enough for me, and I'm going to show you how to relock the bootloader, and uh, we'll do so right now. So I'm going to power off the device. Now you should do a more thorough check, but I have in good faith that this is now working properly. So once your phone is off, you want to just hold the power and volume down buttons again to reboot back into the bootloader. And once you're in the bootloader, we're going to type this command here. We're going to type in fastboot, flashing, lock, like so. And on our device, we need to select yes to relock the bootloader. So I'm just going to press the volume up button, highlight yes, and then press the power button to select yes. Now your phone should automatically reboot and erase itself once more. So we're going to fast forward this process until we're back into Android. Now you can see there is no padlock down here anymore. That means our device is locked. And you could also could have seen in the bootloader that the device is locked as well. Now, one thing I had to actually hold the volume button, uh, volume down, and power buttons to force reboot this phone, because the, the same thing happened when I was unlocking the bootloader. It just stood there until I had to force it off. So, hopefully, you don't have to do that. But if you do, you can, and your phone should just um, turn on. Okay, so that's it guys. Thanks for watching. This is how you can use the factory images provided by Google to fully reset your device and return it back to stock and also locking the bootloader once you've verified that your phone boots and turns on and everything kind of works. So thanks for watching guys. This marks the end of the Pixel Extravaganza. As always, thanks for watching and happy flashing.